Hi. Good day. This is Ken Lau. Well, uh, this course is about analyze <coughs> your the weekly demand of a particular product or SKU skill uh, skill ID school ID. Now, for example, a particular product or the SKU, right? That uh, the weekly sales is like uh, the first week is hundred. And overall money you add up it will be one thousand. So in terms of that on the one on the week one is ten percent. Okay. So uh this is the whole idea. So we're gonna create this. Well the thing is that this week one data hundred how do that generate? It's actually from a sales data that has about that has over sixty over thousands or Sales data is about let's see clear all the filter then. <coughs> there are sixty thousands over data. So we want to find out which are those order that uh, fall under the that week. So we're gonna make use of the calendars folder as uh, tab as well. Then we can come up with some data. So uh, I'll go through this step by step more in detail. But now let me just show you that magic here. So <coughs> we use the feature called power pivot. Okay, the total sales on that particular month, right? The total sales 596. And uh, the first one is this, right? So we use a DAX measured. We create the measured or a calculated field in the earlier version, they call it. Then we uh, use another DAX function to find out the weekly. The, uh, so all week sales. So actually, this money can also be named as all week sales. Okay, all week sales for the month. So we call that. So the idea is this, right? All week sales. So uh, we need to use that. So <coughs> I'm going to create this again, right? But before that, what is all weeks? So this is how we add this calculators and all and so on. Yeah. So I delete this. Yes. And uh, this is no longer needed. I will create it then. <coughs> so on this month, January. Right, 2002 has 12 months. And uh, on January, this is what, right? But we're going to further make it nicely done. Right? So, uh. We got we got uh, further s separate into week. So for January there are five weeks, and for February right uh there is like a uh, a mixtures of that week. So uh five comes from January and so on. So uh that year itself have fifty three weeks altogether. So then we now created uh all week sales. So go to the power pivot, new measured, and we say all weeks sales for that month. Okay, and we use the calculate tax measured, and we use total sales, and all calendar. Now we're not going to use dates, but we will use the week numbers. number zero click OK okay this all week sales right if for that particular month you can see that so it's basically on each row it shows the same okay uh, we'll talk about this all right you know full cost as for now our intention is to show you that it can be done in the uh, this power pivot. So now we're going to do a uh, person. <coughs> okay. So percentage over all sales one, right? We use the total sales divide by the uh, all weeks sales. The percentage zero. One will do that. Click OK. <coughs> ah, 
this error is because I have some data here, so it's going to replace it. Not to worry. Okay, so we basically has that value then, right? So let's just talk about what does it mean, right? So in January there are five weeks, so just plug in here, right? Try with this. Um, okay, so basically these are one, right? So they are week one, uh, week number one, and uh, so on. So and uh, if you add up all this value, right, it should be, uh, you can just use the shortcuts alternate equal. So 596. So you see 596. So if we do a division, right, just like what we did earlier, take this, lock it, just drag it here, mm, percentage. So 13.4% over this all week sales. This is what really it means. <coughs> okay, that's um, the rest, but it's just not quite nice. This looks nicer then. Okay, so 596, 13.4. So this is what it means, 13.4, right? This is just to show you. I'm going to drag this out, right? So basically, we already have uh, this data there. So um, if we want the months, we can still drag it to our slicer horizon. Okay, so we'll look at the for January, February, June, right, and um, here you go, right, so uh, on the 23rd week, so you can see over the, f on the June, right, over the f six, about six week, they are, the um, second week and the fourth week are pretty good. <coughs> so let's say you are doing a demand planning analysis, demand planning, right? let's say in December. So, you might want to replenish that school ID, right? Uh, well, oh yeah, that's not school ID, right? So, no problem. Let's go here and take a look at the English model name and uh, the product name, right? Let's drag it here then. So, uh, just drag it to uh, your model here. Okay, so uh, you have some products or oh, you want to have the... Uh, the uh, the category so there is a category let's see a category yeah there you are so I have a category uh, for bytes and uh, maybe accessory uh, there's nothing on January <coughs> no there's nothing oh yeah that's beginning of the year right? no not really fourth okay it seems like we have some data there. Okay, good. So, um, in 2003, there are clothing accessory, and uh, I'll take a look at this data here, and um, we have uh, quite a lot of them. Yeah. So, uh, you must just look at some of this. Bike watch, accessories, bike watches, and October, right, so... Oh, there, there you are, you see that, right, October. This sales, right, is not all for all the category. You just look at accessory on that month. If we just drag this. <coughs> so, at first they are all categories, and there is, we look at the month, January, so, uh, February, uh, March, April, May, June, July. Ha! In July, we start to have more products sold in other category. <coughs> so, um, let's say you want to replenish accessories. So, you want to take a look at the accessories. So, accessories from July onwards in 2003. So let's look at August. So this is just for 
uh, August, right? So these are all the accessories. You can see that, uh, uh, yeah, these are the category: the hinge rack, mountain tires, tires accessories, right? So um, you you know that that uh, on the week thirty five, right? There are more things, right? But does it really correct? Uh, or is it July? So you have to do a analysis against the last year and this year. So you take a look. Yeah, there are more time intelligence DAX function that uh, I'm so eager to share with you. And uh, I hope you learn something. And I hope this explains to my clients uh, about how to create a, a presentation over this big sales. Pretty good. Thanks for watching.